Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth James Girl and welcome back to episode, we are on episode 6 of Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode was the election when it kind of went quite badly with Regina calling us out in front of the whole school about something we did back when we were 12. Let's see what today's episode is going to bring. Here we go, it's Karen. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for a special election day edition of At Karen Uncensored. Today I'm bringing you play-by-play -play live coverage of North Shore High School student body president race. Presidential race. Did I say that right? That would seem to be a lot of words all at once. Oh, it's not live. Oh dear. The votes are in and the results are being tallied as we speak. You can feel the excitement in the air. Can you really? It's been neck and neck race between North Shore's favourite Regina George and newcomer Greenoid Backstabber Jemsicle. Oh, I see movement coming from the polling place. Ahem, students of North Shore, I've counted your votes twice personally and I've had the numbers verified through an independent recount pre performed by a separate non-partisan entity. What does that even mean? Our school janitor. Before I make the announcement, I'd like to thank the Academy. Who won? It's Regina, isn't it? It's so Regina. The final tally for student body president stands at 766 votes for Regina George and Greta Gemsicle with... I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, 375. She won by... A complete landslide. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. So who won? Oh my goodness, Karen. <laughs> she like... <laughs> I assume you know why I've called you both in here. Um, let's say... No idea. I really don't. What? Miss 4.35 GPA doesn't have the answer? Let her have it. Take the high-ish road. Take the high-ish road. I clearly don't. I hoped I would win over North Shore, but the voters picked you. I wish you the best of luck as president. Luck? I didn't win this election by luck. I earned it. Well, it certainly wasn't won on policy. Do you want to speak up? Pretty sure you heard me. Sorry, it's hard to hear when you're so far beneath me. Oh, wow. You won! Congrats! Can we do a nice little golf clap and move on? <laughs> Ladies, you're in You're in here because of that. Unsportsmanlike, unsport, ladylike, unsport, bad behaviour. She's the one who tried to run a video smear campaign. Deny it or accept responsibility. I mean, she didn't really, did she? Let, um, deny it. I had no idea Damien was going to make that kind of video. No one buys your Little Miss Innocent act anymore. I promise, I never saw it. Anyway, it's not like you kept things cordial with your whole historical photo montage. I didn't have time for you to show your true colours, so I just showed them for you. Hey, you're both in here because you both exhibited unsportsmanlike behaviour. Ooh, Mr Deval's getting quite annoyed. Mrs. Naval, all I did was frame the opinions of my speech in a personal story, based in actual truth. Maybe one of you should have set your sights on a different school. Oh, I'd be happy to go to a different school if you write me a cheque for three million. This was supposed to be the good year. Everyone was supposed to get along. You two have some deep-seated issues and we're going to work them out right here, right now. Green-eyed, let's start back at this baby pageant thing. We were 12. That's not the point, Miss Gemsicle, please. Okay. Honestly, I knew it was wrong, but the pressure was insane. Afterwards, I felt terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever done, and it has haunted me all these years. So when I walked in North Shore and saw you, I didn't know what to do. You could have apologised. <laughs> You're right, but I freaked out. And then it seemed like you didn't remember, and I was hoping you didn't. I'm so, so sorry. I really am. Miss George, do you have a response? Cool. Apology accepted. Really? See, wasn't that nice? Now I suggest we put all this bad blood behind us. You're both seniors, so I expect you to comport yourselves with class and dignity. Understood? Yes. Yes. 
Good. <laughs> Abracadabra, your friends. Mr. Duval, Karen's supposed to live stream me getting sworn in. Fine, go do your thing, but Miss Jemsicle, sit tight. I'd like a quick word. Uh oh. I get that you're set on Yale, but after losing this election, you're a real underdog here. Doesn't everybody love an underdog? I love an underdog. No, they do not. Clearly, Principal Duval disagrees. But I do love an underdog. To even have a shot, you'll have to come out on top in every other way. Sterling GPA, amazing SATs, probably some other acronyms, okay? Plus, anything to jazz up your resume, like clubs or community service. We've got that blood drive coming up if you'd like to volunteer. Definitely. Great. And maybe take up the oboe. The oboe? Why the oboe? <laughs> what an odd thing to say. I'll look into those clubs. Thanks, Mr. Deval. Mr. Deval's alright, really, isn't he? Fortunately, it is highly unlikely Regina would stoop to signing up for the dorky activities like Models UN. When it comes to dorkiness, I definitely have the edge on Regina. Oh no, or not. Regina's on it. Looks like she's willing to risk her rep. Hmm, to knock me out everything. She's she's taking up like two spaces on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, she's in that group. Yep, there is no escape. Ah! Shh! Sorry. Shh. Uh, you okay there? Oh, it's Mika. Yeah. First the auditorium, now the library. Are you trying to ruin the peace and quiet of every place I enjoy for its peace and quiet? Or are you just following me in general? This guy needs a dose of sugar. Lucky me, all these coincidental run-ins. You sure they're coincidences? There he goes, full force flirting again. You're not signing up for all those clubs, are you? I take pride in my after-school commitments, thank you very much. You'd have to clone yourself to do that many. Look, Mika, I've been having a pretty terrible day as it is. And I did not ask for your shh. <gasps> Sorry, I did not ask for your input. All I'm saying is, why don't you pour your effort into something you actually care about instead of diluting it all over whatever fifty clubs you'll join? Like what? Like for me, it's theatre. Hobbies are nice, but I have real goals. Thanks. Theatre isn't a hobby; it's my passion. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe you should find one. Well, dabbling in theatre isn't going to get me into Yale. Ah, now it makes sense. All those Yale types are wading pool shallow. What makes you think you know so much about all those Yale types? Because my dad's one of them. <laughs> you should hear him with his college friends. All surface, no substance. Just like your little club joining spree. Excuse me. Keep it down. The librarian's getting quite annoyed. I thought winning president might have meant something to you. Ouch, thanks a lot, Mika. Because all I have to do now is tell my mum I lost, and she'll only be massively disappointed in me. So I guess you're right, I obviously didn't mean anything to me. Mika's a nice guy, isn't he? I thought he was horrible at first. But he's really quite nice. Tension thick enough to bite. Come on, loser, we're going to shop him. Huh? According to Mr. Duval, we're friends now, and nothing like a hot new outfit to smooth things over with Mika. He'll forget about your little library tiff the second he looks at your, sees your new look. Did you, did you hear our fight? No, but Gretchen did. I've got ears like a bat. So are you coming or not? We can't go because we haven't got enough gems. I can't. Really? But Gina is a fashion genius. She'll pick out something amazing for you. No, I can't. I haven't got any gems. I can't. My mum's waiting for me. Oh my gosh, is your curfew like four o'clock now? Poor thing. We'll have fun with mum. Oh. I'm not sure if you realise, but Regina just handed you an olive branch and you snapped it in two. Great, like things could get any worse. 
My mum has been working so hard at her new job. I was hoping I could surprise her with a victory. But now she's going to be crushed. I have three hours to figure out a way to break the bad news. Surprise! You didn't have three hours. Ah! <laughs> mum, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> to keep you on your toes. So, how'd the election go? Uh, I hate to lie, but I can't stand to disappoint it either. You can't lie about the election, surely. Tell her the truth. Mom, I didn't win. What? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Regina is the most popular girl at school. It was an uphill battle from the start. I'm sorry I let you down. Don't worry, we're going to turn this around. You have the SATs coming up. I'm already studying for them. Good, good. What about your extracurricular resume? You were so involved at your last school and you need to... I just joined a bunch of clubs and I volunteered to organise the blood drive. I don't mean to nag, especially when you're down, but I don't want this hiccup to erase years of hard work. Bzzz. Phone. Who is it? It's from Mika. Sorry about what I said earlier. I feel bad. Who's texting you? Um. Let's give details. I feel like they have that kind of relationship where she would give details. It's this guy, Mika, from my Shakespeare class. Okay, but like we discussed, now is not the time to get distracted. I won't. It's not like that. Anyway, he has a girlfriend. Or does he? We never figured that out, did we? Whether we did or we didn't. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. That was kind of a sudden end to the episode. So there we go. That's the end of the episode. We didn't win the election. Which I think is was kind of a given. I don't think you can win the election unless you have paid money into the game. Let me know down in the comments whether you've paid money and if you managed to win the election. That'll be interesting to know. Well, thank you so much for watching. Join me next week when we're going to be completing episode 7. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.